So we've reached the uh, main road through Ollerton Bywater. So we've just come up the branch line here. And right here would have been a level crossing across the uh, road, obviously. And then onwards into St Aidan's, straight on, which is where we're heading now. So we've reached St Aidan's Nature Reserve. Absolutely beautiful part of the country. All bird sanctuary here and lakes everywhere. But this, as you can see, is an old tarmac road here heading or making its way around the site. Now right up there would have been Ollerton Bywater Colliery, right at the top end of the site up there. But there was also a smaller one down here, probably about where that lake is, right in front of us, called the Lowther Colliery. And the line came out from behind me, straight forward, into a load of uh, staves and things in front to drop the coal off and pick it up, etc. But if you look down here in the road, what do we see? Yes, tracks in the road still and they haven't been ripped out which is nice and also there isn't just one or two or three there's actually four you can see a lot of the junctions here and then the final one right here <laughs> it just seems strange when you see the end of the track here where it just stops there and a bit of water <laughs> But yeah, that would have continued right up there into now what is probably marshland. Strange to think how this all appeared from open cast mining many years ago and the big flood that happened when the mine collapsed in 1987, I think. The whole mine collapsed and it flooded. If you haven't seen that or you're not aware of that, I did a video on that very subject. You can check it out on my channel. So these could be the only rail remains that we find on this route. We'll see, I'm not sure. We're back at Bowers Junction, and obviously we're heading straight down to Castleford. But let's explore this area because there is a lot left to see around here before we move on. See all this uh, block edge in here? I'm presuming that's quite modern. I don't think it's railway related or anything from that time anyway. There's quite a few cobbles or sets here as well. Again, I think this was probably created when they did the walkway. Now it's a shame, but the old sign that said Bowers Junction has gone off there. So we just come across this rather strange looking uh, footer or foundation here. Now I was going to say concrete, but it's definitely not concrete. It's big stone blocks and it's in two sections as you can see. But we know from the old pictures that there was a large water pipe here or a spout. I don't know what the railway terminology is, but they used to fill the engines with it and they could swing it around and pour water into the engines on either side. Now this section here has been well and truly decimated. Obviously the tracks were on a level here, straight across. We're now dipping down and back up. This was uh, an underpass here. Again, I think it was a farmer's track or even a footpath, but there was a little small girder bridge just here and the footpath went underneath. But as you can see today, it's just, well, it's sunken. It's definitely been remodeled. But starting about here and making its way a couple of hundred yards down there, on the left side, I believe, this side, there was the Holt platforms. So it was basically a raised wooden platform that went out into the field there, and it had a nice uh, big support at the back to keep it level. Even the signal box was on a platform as well. Nothing was permanent here. It was literally a wood temporary foundation. So I just almost broke my neck and crashed on the bike because I spotted this down here. Now, we're pretty much level with the Holt station, which would have been just this side. And this contraption down here, I know exactly what it is. Now, I didn't know this was here, but if you look at this picture, you can see right here is where the junction started or where the lines started to split off. So you would have had the points on the tracks here. And I think, I'm not sure if this was in the middle of the tracks or if this was at the side of the tracks. I've got a funny feeling it might have been in the middle 
because we're stood right in the centre here. But this is an old set of uh, point pulleys or like a lever. I don't know what the terminology is again, but as you can see there, there's a handle here where you would have probably had uh, cables going through these holes and then a pivot there and then you've got this huge thing that will pivot on this central bracket here and you can see through there it's still clamped or bolted to the floor it's absolutely solid and then on this side we've got another sort of handle here again you probably had the cables around these so it's definitely something to do with uh, points and I've just spotted here as well we've got some kind of a concrete post in the ground now that appears to me like it's upside down so you can see it's wedged deep into the ground there and it's got these uh, bolts at the bottom here now you can see the iron rod there so I'm presuming they're the bolts for the iron rod going through the concrete now to me it looks a bit like a mile marker but I'm not 100% sure oh there's another one just there as well there we go, there's another one, upside down buried, and another one, they're everywhere. So there's another one here, could these have been some kind of a, like a, a trunking running down the side of the tracks for cables? I know it's not the halt because that was the other side. But look at this one down here, this is weird. It's got some kind of a, I don't know, like a hole for cables there or something. Comment down below what the hell this is because I have no idea. But it's the same as the other ones, concrete and uh, this weird contraption at the top but maybe they weren't upside down maybe they were meant to be this way around and now I don't know if you can see that but it says W, B and S Co Limited just there whatever that is well I can't say I'm disappointed that we didn't find anything left of the halt because I wasn't expecting anything like I said the other stations on this line are long gone and they were made out of bricks so <laughs> If they're gone, then this is going to be gone. Let's push on further down the line, down to Ollerton Bywater. Now, forgive me for my pronunciation. I say Ollerton and then Allerton. I keep flipping between. The current cycle route has actually brought us down to the side, to this road here. Now, this is Doctor's Lane, and the track bed is just up there. So, again, there would have been a bridge here. It's all completely gone, both abutments. Uh, yeah, no signs of them. So it would have crossed here, just spanned straight over. We've just approached from the left here on the lines. And again, the main line would have crossed on a bridge straight over there. It's not looking good like there's anything left here. But before we get to that section, I've just clocked this from the line up here. A lovely little tunnel. Now I've just looked on the old maps and it appears that there used to be a plantation on the other side of here called the Ollerton Plantation. We're now in Allerton, Allerton Bywater, which is not far from Ledston and Castleford. But this probably was just a footpath access into the woodland beyond. But how amazing is that? We didn't even know this was here until we spotted it from up there. Let's have a look inside, a quick one. Yeah, it looks like it's still a plantation on this side and then a bit overgrown at this end. Yeah, that's amazing. So here we are back at the main road here and again the line came towards us this way. Like I said, the abutments have gone, the bridge is completely gone. And again, a lot of new builds on this side. I'll tell you what, these remind me of that song in the 80s, Living in a Box. So we've followed the line, again, straight down. Much of nothing up there, just trees and a uh, mud pathway, really. But then when we reach this section in here, more boxes, or new builds. Right here is the site of the former Allerton Bywater Colliery, which would have been a massive site, all on the right-hand side, here. A bit further down, but all over here. And the track went directly ahead, as it does now on this pathway, straight through. Now there would have been a huge depot on the line here for the colliery as well and there were a load of coal drops down the side where they could load coal onto trains. Now if I haven't mentioned already, this section of the line ran right up to the 90s, I think it was 97 or 98, 
it was still open, this section. The Garforth section was long gone before that, but right here, this was open until the 90s, and right down to Castleford, because of the colliery still supplying coal. The passenger services on this line, they ran from 1878 up until 1951. Then it was just for freight. We're currently stood on Barnsdale Road, and I'm right on the bridge here. And as you can see, the bridge still remains. Now we can't get down here. This is a private depot, as you can see, and also here is a private land. But right in front of us here is where Ledston Station would have been. I think it would have been situated just here where this fence is, or maybe where that house is there, just a bit further back. And you had two lines at this point heading onwards. I think one of them stopped just up here. But I'm going to show you a couple of photo fades now taken from this bridge looking in this direction. Unfortunately, the line between here and the Castleford Viaduct is inaccessible. A lot of it is on private land. We will catch up with it a bit further down, but what we're going to have to do now is cycle all the way around to the bottom end where the viaduct is. So if I can get on the line, I will, but if not, I'll see you further down there.